with full cross plot platform classroom collapse there. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> we'll get there. Studio Pro 10.7 is out and Mac users can break out the champagne because the Studio Pro for Mac beta is now available. Let's dive in. Studio Pro for Mac is here. First demoed at the Menix 10 launch event last June, you can finally get your hands on it. Just like the Windows version, you can use all the functionality you're used to, including changing your model, your pages, your logic, and more. With full cross-platform functionality, the performance of the Mac version is just as smooth as the Windows version and lets you work directly with your Windows colleagues, just like before. Creating Studio Pro for Mac was no small feat, and while we believe we've released a fantastic product with this release, we'll be rolling out a lot of improvements and updates this year to make it even better. And we can't do that without your feedback. So download this beta version for Mac and let us know what you like and what we can do to improve your experience. You already know that you can use Mendix to build apps with minimum effort and create next level experiences with the latest technologies. With this release, we're taking that experience even further with the beta release of the React client. React has been a part of the Mendix platform for many years, but not everything in the client was converted to React technology, mainly to preserve backwards compatibility with older widgets. With the React client, you can use the full power of React for your Mendix applications. The biggest advantages are that it improves app performance, enables incremental page loading, and future-proofs your application. You can enable the React client in the runtime settings of your app. Keep in mind that not all platform-supported modules and widgets are converted yet, so we recommend only using the React client in new applications for now. We plan to release the React client as an optional feature for general use in Mendix 10.12. To make adopting the client as easy as possible, we will be converting platform-supported content and providing functionality for converting widgets. Try out the React client now and let us know what you think. We just released a new version of the Combo Box widget that lets you add a customizable footer. You can use it to, for example, place a link button for creating new options or for displaying some information to the user. There is now also a Select All option, which will appear as a header that lets you select all the options when used with a reference set. You can get the latest version of the Combo Box widget from the marketplace. We are introducing a new feature that allows Mendix admins to easily approve or decline components submitted to the private marketplace. By default, developers of a company can automatically add content to their private marketplace. By enabling this new feature, Mendix admins can add a review step before content gets published by the developers, for example, to check if it meets expected standards and quality. To turn on this feature, admins can enable the admin approval setting in the control center. Then, when someone submits a new component or a new version of a component to the private marketplace, the request will become available in the approval requests overview. You can review key details, including documentation, description, and license, and perform any other security or compliance checks by downloading the component package. If the component meets the organization's standards, it can be approved. Otherwise, admins can decline the submission and provide feedback to the developers. Once approved, the component is published to the private marketplace and ready for other developers to use. Try it out now by going to your private marketplace in Control Center. We've recently started new meetup groups in Dubai and the Nordics region. The first meetup in Dubai will take place on March 1st, and the first meetup in the Nordics will take place at the Capgemini offices in Stockholm on April 11th. Sign up at meetup.com slash pro slash Mendix Maker Community and spread the word to meet like-minded Mendix professionals. And finally, we're looking for two community professionals to join the community team at Mendix. If you have or know someone who has at least three years of experience in a community management or developer advocacy role, go to mendix.com careers and take a look at the community manager and developer advocacy expert roles. If you think you have what it takes, apply now and Mendix might become your new home. These are just a few of the new features, improvements, and fixes in this release. Read the release blog on menix.com slash blog or the release notes on docs.menix.com to learn more. You can download Studio Pro 10.7 at marketplace.menix.com. And here's a question for you. 
What do you want us to cover in another video? Something we missed? Let us know in the comments on LinkedIn or on the community Slack. I'm Jan Lefries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in the next video.